Today, I invite you to be part of my last flight of my Africa adventure on Lam Mozambique, featuring Dar es Salaam's brand new airport, the world's last 737-200, the invasion of the killer bees, some fantastic cheese sandwich, as well as corrupt border police who tried to seize my passport, asking for bribes. However, my last flight reminded me about all the things that I love about Africa. And yet again, it was a great adventure, <laughs> full of fun, <laughs> obstacles, <laughs> and great planes. So please, lean back and enjoy my flight on the national airline of Mozambique, all the way to Maputo. So and this is it, right behind me is the new terminal of Dar es Salaam, named after the first president of Tanzania. And so before we fly to Mozambique, let's go inside obviously to check in and check out this new beautiful terminal. So guys, and here you are inside the new, fresh, bright looking, spacious new terminal of Dar es Salaam. I don't know whether you guys remember the Terminal 2 where I in 2019 reviewed Air Tanzania's 787 Dreamliner to Mwanza. Uh, that was an awful terminal. Um, however, you got to be careful. I had to redo the scene because there are killer bees inside here. I was attacked by one. So be careful that you don't fall victim to them um, as well. Now let's go check out which airlines are actually departing here today. And then we're going to check in for our flight on Lam, Mozambique. The new terminal opened in August 2019 and is for sure one of Africa's finest. It is designed to handle up to 3.5 million passengers annually and pushes the ambition of Air Tanzania to challenge the big African aviation giants, becoming an important hub on the continent. So Tanzania used to be that one country where you don't need a COVID test to enter and they didn't believe in COVID at all, at all until the president uh, died of COVID and then they introduced some of the most strict COVID measures here. So you have to get your PCR test printed and then you have to go to this office over there to verify it as well before you're even able to check in. Thank you. So all verified, all real, ready to check in. So we're still waiting for Lam Mozambique to open their counters, but I would rather be on Air Zimbabwe flying to Harare um, on a 737-200, one of the last remaining 737-200s, so the really first with the slim uh, pencil looking like engines, um, yeah. In, in, in service, it's it's. Uh, I wanted to fly that flight. They also have a 767-200, which you don't find anywhere else anymore, either. So I hope it's a trip I can take very soon. It was then finally time to check in for my Lam Mozambique experience, all the way to Maputo. Can I check in with you? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. There you go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Huh? Bye. All right, all checked in. He said there's a light load. I'm gonna have my own row. So that's good news so far though. So now let's go to the gate. It does 4K, uh -huh. 7K, 8K, 10K. No, I'm joking. Oh God, 4K. <laughs> that's pretty good. You have all the options. It's a cool camera. Do you want to try it? <laughs> <laughs> Say something. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. All good. Ready to leave. Thank you. Cheers, mate. So everyone is really nice here today. Everyone is in a good mood. I like that. Uh, it's a good, good omen for what is, what there is to come. So, and in order to leave the country, you have to fill out a departure form. Not many countries do that anymore, right? But here, you have to apparently. So let's. Fill this out. This new airport is such a bliss, one of Africa's best. I said that. Look at it, how stunning it is. I want to show you Air Tanzania 787 Dreamliner, which I was one of the first or the first to review it in 2019. And then apparently Air Zimbabwe 737-200 is coming here as well, which is an absolute gem, an absolute rare plane. It'd be amazing to see it. And hopefully one day I get to fly it as well. And there she is, the 787-8 of Air Tanzania. Just came from Mumbai uh, this morning. 
beautiful video, always good memories. And over there is the Airbus 220 of Air Tanzania. They were the first operator of this kind in Africa. I did a video on this flight as well, where I was allowed to join the two pilots at the flight deck. One of my favorite flights uh, so far. Uh, check out both videos. I kept exploring the airport and while doing so Air Zimbabwe's 737-200 arrived, leaving me rather speechless. Guys, look at this absolute beauty, 737-200. Super rare, super awesome, super special. Like, can, as an AFGE, this is a very, very unique moment. I'm gonna make that my mission to fly this bird sometime this year. How amazing would that be? Let me know in the comment section below whether you want an Air Zimbabwe 737-200 review. I kept admiring the bird for a while until my actual plane arrived. La Mozambique 737-700, which is taking me to Pampa. But I also spotted a 40-year-old DC-9 cargo plane of Astral Aviation taxiing past. Today was truly a good day for an Afgeek like me. It also stands testament that African Airlines do a fantastic job looking after those birds and keep them airworthy. Let's hope they keep on flying for many years to come. But let's talk about my plane today as well. It's an ex Aloha Air plane. I'm sure the American viewers who are watching right now will remember Aloha Air very well, which are not so fond memories. So yeah, you can check out that story, Google Aloha Air. Thank you. It was then time to board flight TM461 to Maputo and as mentioned before, today's plane was originally delivered to Aloha Airlines in 2004 and ever since flown in China for Lucky Air and Trans Air in Congo and since 2019 for La Mozambique. The plane features 12 seats in business class and 120 in economy. Uh, they have two of those 737s and I think they have 1-8. They used to have an Embraer 190 but they seem to be stored at uh, the moment. So the flight uh, route is also a bit interesting. So we'll be flying from Dar es Salaam to Pemba, which is in Mozambique, a state that is partially um, occupied by ISIS. And then from there we continue to Maputo, the capital of Mozambique. So, yeah. I have two takeoffs and two landings for you in store uh, today. And there's a guy who was standing there and he just shouted, Water. Some people, they don't have manners. Unbelievable. <laughs> and look what we have over there Oman Air 737 Max. And then every time I see Oman Air, I feel like throwing up. Don't know why. Maybe because they still owe me a thousand dollars and they haven't refunded me yet. It's been two years. Finally, a reminder to all of you do not, under any circumstances, book a flight with Oman Air. We then pushed back, and as usual, now is a very good time to hit that like button since this really helps my videos to get featured. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button right now would make my day. Thank you. So on the first leg while we're cruising over ISIS territory, um, there is a snack. It's a cheese sandwich. I can it's cheese because I can see the cheese. Um, a banana juice, refreshing towel, and a bottle of water. 
So I don't know whether there's going to be a proper meal on the second leg from Pampa to Maputo, which is a little longer. So and we probably get some more passengers as well. Uh, we'll find out. But uh, let's dig in and enjoy this little snack provided by Lam Mozambique. So in terms of in-flight entertainment, the crew is giving out iPhones to each passenger with preloaded movies. So there's around 100 movies on there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, there's no in-flight entertainment here. Uh, the only in-flight entertainment you have is the in-flight magazine, which features some uh, yeah, interesting stories. I heard Maputo is a pretty cool city worth visiting. I'll be staying there for two nights. And then on the second leg, from Pampa to Maputo I'm gonna give you a Louvre review as well so don't worry about that but the views are pretty nice here as well that's another form of in-flight entertainment the views over Africa never disappoint landed in Pampa and given the current crisis in this region you could spot a lot of military hardware such as tanks and helicopters. So we just made it, we arrived in Pamba and we requested to disembark every passenger even if you continue to Mapupu, Mapupu, <laughs> Maputo um, we still have to get off the plane. And now things got a little bit complicated and I encountered a lot of confusion. Technically, I'm eligible for a visa on arrival in Mozambique. However, Pampa Airport doesn't have the facilities to issue those on arrival and it can only be done in Maputo, our final destination. After a bit of confusion and talks of offloading me, the officer decided to hand my passport to the crew and have me go through immigration at our final destination. All very confusing, but in the end I was rather grateful to be not kicked out of the flight and to get stuck here in Pampa. One luggage. One luggage, okay. yeah, yeah. With the police officer, because I get the visa at Maputo. Got the visa at Maputo. Yeah, that's why he keeps my passport. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 After going through all sorts of security screening and constantly repeating my story of why Thank I you. don't have okay. a passport, I was finally allowed to reboard the plane. Only getting to know that my seat was changed. But more about this in a second. So everything seemed a bit complicated here, but somehow it all worked out. So my passport right now and the boarding pass is with the crew and I have to go to all the immigration in, uh, in Maputo. From now on, this is considered a domestic flight. For whatever reason, my seat was changed to a middle seat and it reminded me how miserable traveling can be when you have a big guy resting his elbow in my tummy for the next two hours. The flight featured the exact same sandwich and was rather eventless. I didn't want to wake up the guy next to me, so unfortunately there won't be a loo review on this flight. I mean, secretly I was very happy about it since I really hate loo reviews. Down there? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
hands on the ground, an immigration officer was waiting for me, taking me somewhere to get my visa. Okay, uh, yeah, very good. So I can't take my can't get my passport now. Or? Yes, you will come tomorrow morning. So what's your problem? What's your problem? I don't understand. But you and can get a visa on arrival, right? Yes. That girl but needs to tell you that you are beautiful. That's why I bring her chocolate. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. You need that to want a chocolate. She needs, she said. I have no chocolate. Have Give no chocolate. her. Now, you are refusing. I'm refusing what? You are refusing. <laughs> she, she, she said to you that, hey, please, pay me chocolate. You are saying no. I have no chocolate. Where's... She will buy outside. Oh, she will buy it outside. Yes, chocolate. give her money. She will buy it. I have no money. I only have dollars. Uh, yes. yes, they change it here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what do you want? She asking you. Ah. Uh? A chocolate. Chocolate. I don't have chocolate. Yes, give her money. She will buy. Give her chocolate. Please. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> give me chocolate money to buy chocolate. Don't I want to have a child here. Okay. Uh, dollar I see. I don't have. I have big dollars. I want one hundred. I only have one hundred. I'm sorry. It's too much. Let me let me get my bag first. Maybe I have something in there. So all of this is so strange. I can't get my passport. I have to pick it up tomorrow. So they give me like a piece of paper, and then she wanted chocolate for me. So weird. And now they leave me alone by myself, and I have to get my bag somewhere. Ah, Mozambique is a little bit complicated. Yes. I am um, coming to get my bag. Where you come from? Um, Pemba. Pemba. Go on the bell. Okay. I will show, I will show you the bell. Okay, thank you. <coughs> ah, that, that's the one there. That one? Yeah, that's mine. Hi. Thank you so much. Hi. So the problem is, I am at the airport, right in front of the airport as you can see and everyone is gone there's no more flights there's no more international flights there's no more arrivals and I'm supposed to have a driver come pick me up who's gone now as well and now i have no idea how to get into the city <sighs> all right gotta try and get some internet or something so i can get an uber or i don't know whether they have ubers here or not but oh my god <laughs> never experienced anything like this before. I was able to get hold of my driver so there might be a chance that I'm gonna get picked up very soon and I'm on my way to the city where I give you a full summary of today's adventure. A clearly worse one. They had some issues with the passport as well and they have to keep my passport because the visa office is closed. Okay, how are you doing? You good? Very good, very good. Uh, okay. It's been a long day. <laughs> Fine, How are you? How long is the drive? Ah, uh, no, it's for, uh, 15 minutes. 15? Yes. Ah, easy. So, welcome to Maputo. That's my Airbnb. If you want to have a little quick room tour, my bedroom, my bathroom. As I always said, like whenever I'm in Africa, I stay at Airbnb. It's a lot cheaper. The hotels here are crazy expensive, $400, $500 a night. And a beautiful kitchen as well. So I'll be here for two nights and this is pretty much also the end to my Africa tour because on Monday I'll be flying to Portugal and then Air France, uh, Dreamliner and Business Stars back to Colombo going home. Getting a bit emotional right now though because this Africa tour was quite an adventure. It was quite of a challenge as well for me. Uh, as you could just see today, nobody really knows the visa rules. Even I asked my host here and they said you can get a visa on arrival but you cannot. It's very difficult. That's why I have to go back to the airport um, tomorrow. But uh, the flight was good. The first leg was much better than the second leg. And the arrival experience was a bit confusing, but overall it was another great adventure. And the airport in Pampa was also very, very interesting. You could see all the 
the army and the uh, military vehicles because they are in a conflict up north. Or if you want, you can support my work on Patreon. Starts from a dollar. Um, there is some um, really cool perks, joining my WhatsApp group, so you're always traveling with me because we have a cool community, um, monthly Zoom sessions, your name in the credits, um, updates behind the scenes, or you can even pick an airline for me. I have a great um, uh, patient community. I've met a lot in person, just uh, uh, Amar in uh, Dar es Salaam uh, yesterday, so um, it really helps me to, uh, um, yeah, run this channel so um, you don't have to you already helped me if you like subscribe and comment but if you feel like contributing to this uh, will be uh, make my day um, but anyways this is it and uh, this is the end of the African aviation tour subscribe right now if you want to see tap Portugal um, it's going to be my next trip on Monday and it's getting very hot in here and I'm sweating and I just want to have a shower. So guys, thank you so much for watching and wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.